Hello folks, here we are. I have a Calaro RC54 record player from approximately 1956. It's come out of an RGD record player. Um, the record player is just sitting just out of shot. Um, it's I've replaced the wax capacitors in the valve amplifier as well as the smoothing can and it's now working fine. The last job was to replace the cartridge. There was a crystal cartridge originally fitted. I did have a spare gold ring MX4 kicking around with a new stylus so I thought I'd put that in. I've also replaced the signal cable with a screened cable as it was picking up hum from the amplifier so that was an improvement. And I've fully serviced the record player and it's sitting on some uh, fake bean tins at the moment. So I'll do a couple of demonstrations, I might as well. We lift up the control arm, now it's called the control arm, not the overarm. I don't know how many times I have to say it, it's called the control arm. Right, let's see what these are like. Starts it's on forty five. Here we go. Oh, well that's good, isn't it? Let's try again. Let's lift up the control arm. That's better. I can't play too much of these because YouTube will pick it up. Venus must have heard my plea. Now the reason this is called the control arm is that it knows when the last record has dropped because the control arm has dropped all the way to the bottom. Now if the control arm, there was still a record on there, the control arm would be lifted and when you hit the reject as I have been doing, that knows it has to drop one more record. Now the reason it's called the control arm is because when there are no more records on the spindle, it's dropped right down. So now, if we reject, it will know there's no more records on there and stop. Which it has. That's why it's called the control arm, not the overarm. It's the control arm.
Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.